About 13 years ago, I was in a polytechnic studying accounting. And because I became the best student in my class, I also became very famous in the department. My school usually has many groups and clubs. Some of them are academic while some of them are social. Then the most influential academic club in my department set their eyes on me. The older people in that club wanted to make me the leader of the next generation of the club. This was not legitimate as the leader ought to be chosen by an election. But they were willing to step on the law anyway because they think that I would be a great person to lead their club. But when they let me know about their intention, I did the unthinkable. I turned down their offer. This was crazy because almost everyone in our department would have jumped in such a luxurious offer. But there's more to it than that. There's a single word I've learned to use which makes me a better human being and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you the single most important word you can learn to use. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here's the thing. The most important word you can ever learn how to use is the word no. Your response to most of life's offers should be no. Your way of thinking about options and choices around you should be no. I'll explain why this is important. Saying no to good John D. Rockefeller said, You must learn how to say no to good because of the great. Think about the story I told you at the beginning of this video. They wanted to make me the leader of a very influential club when I was only age 20. That should have been a great joy for me but it wasn't. It wasn't great news for me because I was aiming at returning my position as the best student in my class and I was trying to build my organization. If I had said yes to the offer of becoming the leader of such a great club, then I'd lose much of my time to the activities and meetings of the club. This may lead me to lose my position as the best student I was and I may never have the time to build my organization. The truth is that most things you'll get from the people around you, things you'll get from people are good but you deserve something better than good. So you have to say no to good and go for the great. When I left school as one of the best students, I decided not to collect my certificate or have any degree. This is because I never wanted to work for anybody. In my part of the world, the good thing to do is to work for a bank or an oil company. For me, there's a thing better than the good and that's a great thing. To me, it's better to build a bank than to work for a bank. So I decided to build a bank by building my own business. In life, if you don't learn how to say no to good things, you'll end up being average because most good things simply make you like everyone else. Saying no to the advertisers According to the Nielsen Company, $117 billion was spent on all U.S. advertising in 2009. Ten years later, in 2019, the digital ad spend alone is estimated to be $333 billion. And by 2023, the digital ad spend alone is estimated to be more than $500 billion. You think about that. Why are companies spending a ridiculous amount on ads? Well, every company tends to get you to say yes to their product. And that's why some studies show that you see more than 4,000 ads every day. Literally, too many people want your money and unfortunately most people say yes to many companies. Until you learn how to say no, your life will not be yours. Think about this. The most important things you do with your phone is to call, send text, browse the web and take photos. You bought an iPhone two years ago and it's doing all these essential things very well. But because the guys at Apple know that you're weak, they've added a few more features, the features you probably don't need. Several months before they release these features, there have been rumors of speculations but the company says nothing. Suddenly you start seeing the ads on your phone which were made in heaven. The guys who hold these phones are cute and smart and so are you. If every smart guy uses the latest iPhone, why wouldn't you? You say yes and that means you have to lose your $1,000 or more to own this precious acid. The automobile industry does the same thing. Grocery stores do the same thing. Everybody else does the same thing. They want you to part way with your money. They want you to give your money to them and you don't have the cut to say no. 
Well, until you learn how to say no, you can't have a life of your own. Saying no to the media. I read a study in recent times that claims that an average person spent about 9.3 hours every day on the internet. This would not have been a scene if you had spent all this time on our channel. <laughs> no. Even if you spent too much time on our channel, even though it's an educative channel, you still not get ahead in life. The reason is simple. If you learn and don't act, you won't succeed in anything. That is about educative content on the web. Talking about entertainment content and social media, there's nothing inherently bad about them except they are like sugar. For instance, I try as much as possible to avoid sugar and alcohol, not because of any of these is bad but because they are addictive and their addiction can ruin your life. Today, as we make this video, I don't use Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. That's not because it's a scene or a bad thing but because when I used Facebook, I got addicted to it and I knew that it was a bad thing for my life. You mustn't be addicted to anything except things that make you money or help you fulfill your mission in life. For instance, if I make $10,000 every month on social media, how is that a bad thing to spend 9 hours every day, right? Where you make $10,000 every month. But if it is for entertainment, why would you want to consume entertainment, gossip or rumors 9 hours every day? Saying no to negative people. At a point in my life, I had to let go of most of my friends because hanging around them simply didn't make me who I wanted to be. One of the most important no's you have to say in your life is to negative people because the longer you stay around people who complain, make excuses or think that someone else is their problem, the worse your life will be. In summary, you have to learn how to use the word no. You have to say no to the smart marketer who wants you to buy everything everyone is buying so that you'll make them rich while you become poorer. You have to learn how to say no to people who are negative because they will make you become like them. You have to say no to the excessive media consumption because time is the only asset you can ever have. You have to say no to good things in life and devote your life to great things. If you like this video, you might as well like our new channel about money and entrepreneurship. We call it Money TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Money TV. We love you.